Hello, I'm going to show you how to do a half Windsor knot for tying your tie. Let's get started. This part here needs to be adjusted to your height and it can be quite tricky to get it right. So you'll need to play around with that yourself. But I'll show you how I do it and why I do it. So don't make it too short. Give yourself some room. Now this is just the most basic way of tying your tie. You're just going to cross over your tie. You're going to hold it here. I've reversed my camera so it should be like for like what you're looking for. I have got enough room in here and I'm literally going to go under the tie. And then I'm going to thread it through. I'm going to keep holding on to the type of the here so I don't lose the nice line around the back of the neck I've got. So you should actually have this sitting around the back of your neck all evenly. So now I've got the first half, what they call a half Windsor knot. And I'm literally going to go under and here and straight across. And I'm going to keep my finger on the knot so it keeps its shape. Very important. And now I'm going to go under and through the top. So I'm just holding it down with my finger until I can manage to get the, the and then I'm loosening off as I thread it through. And now we have a tie that can be tucked into the loop bit in the front here. Now before you go and jam it through there and make it all look ugly, make some room. So just loosen it off a little bit, put your finger through if you have to, get the tip of the tie and now keep it, the crease part with a bit with a seam is against your chest. Thread it through until you see a little bit and then once again you're going to pull it through and you're going to try to keep it nice and flat. So that's the good side of the tie and you're going to thread it through here. And now what I'm doing is I'm using my thumbs and I'm pushing it up and trying to keep the shape of the tie. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. Now notice I haven't got much of this left here. Don't be too concerned about it. And this is when I will tighten the top of my shirt. Having a nice fitting shirt is also very important. And now we're going to tighten it up a little bit, drag it around like that, and then bring it back. And now I'm going to keep doing the... I'm dragging it down by pushing these fingers down. I'm gra grabbing it here. I'm squeezing it and trying to keep the shape of it. And now I'm going to make sure that the underneath bit of the tie is also face. So the crease part of the tie, where the seam is, is against my chest. And we should have two bits of nice tie. And it should be all nicely even around here. So now we're just going to tighten it up slowly. Now, this is where people go wrong. If you're using a half Windsor knot, it's, it's very hard to get it looking straight because you've got a knot on one side. But I've got a good shirt. I'm folding over the, the collar, which is very important. And it creases at the same place as my tie. So if you lift this up, the top of the tie is all even all the way around. And my, my shirt is folding. And that, that you can't see the tie bit hanging out the bottom of my shirt like this. Because that's wrong. So make sure you, you tie. And now I'm going to do up my buttons real quickly. And now I'm going to finish doing my tie. Now, wearing a tie so you own it. Notice there's a gap at the top. This is why I don't like a half Windsor knot, because it's very hard to get it up to the top of the shirt. So notice it's crooked. Now I'm going to tighten it by pulling this one here, but I'm not just going to tighten it. I'm going to hold it here and bring it up slowly. And that's as good as I'm going to get. Now remember the little bit at the bottom? It's now got a lot longer. So you tuck that underneath. And how long should your tie be? I'm going to stand up and you can see that my, I can't show you because of the camera, but my tie buckle should just have about, um, you should, the buckle of your tie should be about the same height as the bottom of your tie. But it shouldn't be down by your knees <laughs> and it shouldn't be up by your chest. So you'll need to play around with the right height. This is how you tie a half Windsor knot. If that was helpful to you, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In my next video, I will show you how I tie my ties. I haven't tie, tied a tie knot like this for years. A lot of people are doing it, the majority of men do it this way now because the ties are a lot skinnier and it can be a little bit daunting to actually do 
a double Windsor knot. And I'll show you how to do that in my next video. See you soon.